Hey, Tombs. Uh, just wanted to share a couple of hot key fixes today for dodge and holster weapon because I had this issue where sometimes I'd try to holster my weapon and accidentally just switch weapons, like it wouldn't work properly. And also where I'll be sneaking to, you know, get a better look at something and there's an enemy and I'll go back and I'll like try to peek him because he's walking and, you know, you're doing this. And I'll accidentally just dodge out in the open and it reveals you, like, because it takes you out of stealth. So basically there's a config file because you can't just go into your settings and adjust anything and you can't set a dedicated dodge key in here. I don't know why, like there should just be a dodge toggle or something like that, like set dodge. Uh, but I, could, I couldn't find it here. So I found it in the config files and I actually realized, realized that it's a timer issue. It's a timing issue that has to be tweaked per user preference or you can just disable it and set a dedicated key because you can do, th do that through the config file. So I'm just going to show you how to do that now and then show you it in action. So basically you go into your Cyberpunk R6 config folder and there's a bunch of XML files in here. You want to go to input context.xml. Don't worry if it doesn't show the file extension, that's not important. Just right click it, go to open with and notepad and then control F and type multi. Hit that two times, so next, next. And you can see here it's got multi-tap actions. So this is where the things go wrong with, with the double tap dodge and stealth. So basically, if you double tap your dodge keys two times, and the uptime by default is 0 0.2, which is... It's a relatively short amount of time, but when you're pressing keys repeatedly, it's actually not short enough. So basically what this uptime means is that if you press it two times within that window, it'll dodge. So... Default 0 0.2, I narrowed it down, narrowed the window down to 0 0.08. So now I have to press it fairly fast to actually do it. So I have to press it with intention. And the way that works then is, if you, if you can hear my keystrokes, move my microphone. If I'm sneaking around and I'm like, say there's an enemy behind this box and it's, he's moving. So I'm like trying to get a closer look, but you know, I'm, I don't want to just like do this and move constantly. I'm trying to just peek him, right? If I press the keys like this, no more dodging. Okay, and you can hear me. Hear that? So yeah, it's not accidentally dodging anymore because I've narrowed the window down. Now, if I press it with intention really fast, I had to press it even twice then. It makes the dodging a little bit harder, but it won't accidentally happen. So, you know, the worst thing that can happen is you'll try to dodge and it won't do it, but you're not. it's not going to screw up your game. You know what I mean? Like, it's more that... Why would you be dodging out of stealth anyway? Um, and if you're in an actual fight, like you get your fists out and you press it, it seems to work a lot better when you're not in stealth anyway. So, tap. Go back to the center here. Tap. Tap. Fairly fast. My athletics went off. But, of course, this isn't a perfect fix because you have to get the timer right. So, you know, I've adjusted mine to 0 0.08. Maybe that's still a little bit too fast. 0 0.08. Uh, point 0.1 might be better than point 0.2, so I might be fine if I just narrow it down to point 0.1, and that might make the window just big enough that I can double tap it, but not so big that I accidentally do it all the time. So, you know, that you can play with that, and just make sure you match the downtime, because that's basically, uh, it breaks if you try to get the downtime lower than the uptime. I tried setting the downtime to, like, point zero 0.01 to see if I could get, like, chain dodges and unlimited dodge, and it just broke the functionality like it wasn't even dodging at all most of the time when I pressed the key. So you can you can set that to whatever, but you'll notice that they're matching. And that's how you adjust the keys to work better. If you want to disable these double tap keys altogether, just set the number, the count, to something you can't press within this time limit. So if you set it to 20 even, it doesn't have to be a high number, just 20. Can you press uh, W 20 times in 0 0.1 seconds? Uh, no. So, you know, that'll disable it, or you can even set it to 1 and you'll dodge everywhere, but uh, I wouldn't recommend that. So I'll just set that back to 2, because I actually don't mind having the option to do it if I want to use the directional keys. I don't want to disable them altogether. I just found narrowing these timers is just enough to make it work a bit better. And now the other issue is with the holsters. Uh, I noticed that this description here, this, this is like here by default, the script only gives 0 0.25 seconds to, to read. So it'll only read the the keys, the, the, the double tap, within 0 0.25 seconds. But I noticed for some reason, the devs or whoever, you know, did the final checks on these config files, 
it was set to 0.125 seconds by default, which is really narrow for an alt. Like, you don't expect to be double tapping alt really fast, right? So on 0.125, I couldn't tap it fast enough with my thumb to trigger it. So it would work sometimes, but it was like really clunky. Like sometimes it would work, sometimes I'd just switch weapon and it wasn't working very well. And basically when I fixed that to match the description, the 0.25, which is what I think the devs originally intended, it works fine. So now if I, so I'll swap, swap my um, weapon four times. One, wait, there we go. One, two, see that? And now I'm gonna holster it four times in a row without stuffing it up. Holster, bring it out. Holster, bring it out. You can hear the taps. So you can see it's working really well, and then go back to switch weapon. So yeah, all it was is having to fix that from 1.25 to 2.5 to match the description. So I think it was just wrong to begin with. So if you've had issues holstering, fix that. And now I'm going to show you how to set a dedicated dodge key. Now, there's a weird, I don't know what the exact... Uh, reasoning for the description is i think it might be a perk or something like that but it's called Karenzikov dodge and basically this means that when you're walking and you hit this certain key it'll dodge it's not a forward back right or left key it's another key that does it and by default i think it might be on two it could even be on one and uh, uptime and downtime were higher but i changed them down to a narrow downtime because i i want it to be a single press and I edited the key. So basically, if you've had an issue where you'll be walking and you'll mean to go into stealth like this, see how you see I'm walking stealth, and you've accidentally dodged into people, it's because of this key. It, the default is to use the crouch buttons. So you'll be walking and the Kereznikov uh, dodge button, dodge count, whatever, is connected to crouch. But now when I'm doing it, you see I'm able to crouch while walking and it's not accidentally dodging because I've changed the key to something else. And that fixes the functionality. So now I, I never accidentally dodge when I mean to stealth or stealth when I mean to dodge or whatever. Like it's just, it works fine. So you can see I'm do I'm, I'm able to sneak around here and I can even like double tap, double tap my W's and A's, speaking no issues. Okay. So now that I've made that clear, I'll show you how to set it. You just save this and make sure the game's closed to save your your uptimes and cooldown you can try copying mine just lower it lower the lower the uptime and downtime if you want to keep these keys working but if you don't want to use them anymore just increase them to 99 or whatever and then save that and exit out actually i did change it because i want to try zero point one just to see if it works a little bit better so i still had trouble pressing it fast enough at zero point oh wait i save that and open input user mappings with notepad Type control F and enter, I think it was just dot with this typing in the first result. So as you can see here, this is the Koreznikov dodge section, which is literally just a binding for your dodge button to do with crouch. And it has, normally it'll have this here and it'll have like IKC for your C key, your crouch key and for your left control. And these overridable infos here will, will be like this. It'll say something like this. I changed mine, so I, I, I have to set it back if I want to look at it. Uh, change it back to the original. So it was something like this, and it had the control, left control, and C. And now to make it a dedicated dodge button, all you got to do is take away this overridable blah blah blah, this stuff, because you don't want it to override anything in the UI. You just want it to be a dedicated key, and what I've done is I've actually set it to my side mouse buttons because i sometimes accidentally hit my you know how there's a side scroll button there's like an up and a down i hit either one sometimes like i'll be meaning to hit the down and if i'm in the middle of a fight or something i might accidentally hit up so i've just changed them both to be a dodge key so now when i press mouse four or five one time it'll dodge and it works so a million times better than the double taps for me so watch this i'll get out my fists dodge i'm just tapping my mouth button no issues. I can go forward, back, I can chain it, and it worked perfectly. I can punch while dodging, and I don't, it doesn't affect my movement severely. Or I can hold a power attack, and I can dodge around, throw the attack, and dodge back immediately, and I'm not having any missed keys because it's a single tap. I'm just spamming left, uh, mouse 4 or 5, and that, that does the job. So the only thing is you have to hold a direction, obviously, because that's how you know which way to dodge. If you're not holding a direction and you accidentally hit it, it doesn't do anything, but I mean, the functionality itself is just 
it's it's priceless. Like it, it fixes dodging for me because uh, I was a bit. I felt, always felt dodge was really clunky when you're trying to like move a direction and you're having to spam E to do it. Like it doesn't feel smooth in your gameplay to do it that way. So yeah, as you can see here, I can I can dodge with precision and no issues. Because it's just using my thumb that's normally resting on the mouse anyway. So there you go. Yeah, I'm just demonstrating. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys. And if you like the video, give it a like. And if it you know if it helps you, uh, subscribe, thumbs up. And I'll be sharing more content like this, hopefully, if I find anything else cool with the game. And yeah, um, I just figured this out today and wanted to let everyone know because it was one it was like not a big deal like I never went and googled how to fix it but today was like the last straw I was like trying to do some stealth missions and it always I always stuff it up like I'll be trying to grab something or sneak up behind an enemy and I'll go to like grab him and I'll I'll dodge into his back like it was happening a lot where I'll just suddenly dodge out of stealth and yeah now the functionality is fixed and that's how you do it so yeah change that mouse whatever you can change it to any key you can change it to for example say you're not sure what keys are available there's numbers uh you can just set it to your y key i'm pretty sure there's like letters you can use uh whatever button might be easier but some buttons are a bit harder to tell like for example when i went control f i was actually trying to see what are my mouse side button like what do i put in for my mouse side button because i didn't actually know it was mouse four and five and you can see here there's left mouse right mouse middle mouse mouse wheel up but there's no side mouse uh, descriptions here when I tried to look through. So you can use these all for examples, but for certain keys that you might have like a special mouse that has got extra buttons, just go into the game, and this is how I found my mouse 4 and 5, go to a random key, and you know, you can set it back later, just remember what it is. Uh, for crash hold, for example, it's left control, and set it to that button that you don't know what the name of it is. So I set mine to like, I pressed, oh, it won't let me. Won't let me override it now because I've taken that thing away. This key's already been assigned to another image. Give me a sec. I'll use something else. Uh, Q. Rewind brain dance. So I set that to mouse 5 and mouse 4. That's how I figured out my mouse 4 and 5 buttons is by just setting them a bind and then not, not setting it. Cancel. Okay, so it's still back to what it was. And yeah, you can find out your, your hidden keys and then... So it was pretty self-explanatory at that point. Once I knew it was just a number, I just put mouse 4 and mouse 5. Or if you don't want to have two buttons for dodge and you just want that one mouse button, then just simply set that and delete one. But if you also don't want to mess, you can also this is another trick you can do, is if you don't want to mess with the defaults, like you might have your default here that looks something like this, because it's a button ID below the dodge button heading, it might look something like this, right? Forward, and you've got your crouch toggle and your crouch hold. This is what it originally looks like, okay? And you don't want to mess with these, and I've already done it here, but basically you can just copy this section below it and add your extra keys in. So then you've still got your default keys and then you've got your extra keys on your mouse, and you're not messing with these uh, dodge control. But personally, I don't want the dodge control keys working because they're also for crouch, and that's what brings you out of crouch. So if you don't want to mess with your UI, you just want to add the section in without deleting stuff so you can set it back later, just use the exclamation mark dash 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 because what that does is it makes it not a command anymore. It's no longer a button. So the way you do that is you just go exclamation mark dash 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 for these two because you don't want to mess with your crouches. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to mess with these original lines that you might want to revert to later. So I've saved them there, and now they just won't do anything. But my mouse four and five that I've entered here, button ID, it's exactly the same as how I had it before. It's just I've left these extra commands in these default commands, and mouse four and five. So you can see there, Xmas. So that's how you do it, and then save and restart. Well, obviously you don't have the game running. Save it and then start your game up and it should work. So yeah, roll the difference. You can, you can dodge much easier and actually win those fist fights in Kabuki. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.